When this tower was built, the population of Dublin was only 4,000 people. That was 1982. Companies like Ashland, Wendy's, and Cardinal had just settled here. Now the population is 41,000, more than 10 times as much, doubling in Dublin every seven years or so. That's why on a rainy Monday morning, this tower came down. The 1 million gallon tower was replaced by a 2 million gallon tower, not far away in Derry Fields Park. Even though the tower is less than 30 years old, city planners say it made more financial sense to replace it with something much bigger than just build another 1 million gallon tower. Also, getting rid of it frees the land for more building. That's just one piece of it. Uh, we have an interchange planned out there, and two phases of that interchange is complete. Dana McDaniel is the development director for Dublin. He says the land near Post Road, known as the Innovation Center, has been equipped with utilities and fiber optics where the tower stood until Monday morning. Dublin continues to develop and grow even in an unstable economy. The downtown looks much different than even five years ago. Also, Dublin is expected to continue building roundabouts, which it claims moves traffic much faster than traditional four-way or traffic light intersections. One thing City of Dublin's always focused on, I mean for decades, is good quality forward thinking, forward planning. We've been making transportation improvements as you see with the roundabout and 161 improvements. Um, so we're hoping as the economy improves, this area will be a growth opportunity for us. It is always a gamble if such a preparation will pay off, but it did nearly 30 years ago when a single water tower would become obsolete within less than three decades. In Dublin, I'm Mike Bowersock, NBC4.